Hello and welcome to Style It Up, where we take you inside the fashion world of New England. I'm your host, Olga Medvedev. We have another great show for you today. Let's meet our first guest. Jay Cauldron is an author, a designer, and a local fashion expert. He was born and raised in New York, but his career is deeply rooted in Boston. Jay is the founder and the director of Boston Fashion Week. He's an instructor and a director of creative marketing at the School of Fashion Design. In between writing books, he's also a professional coach, a motivational speaker, and the list goes on. In 2009, he published his very first book, Form Fit Fashion. Here to talk with us about his very busy, very exciting fashion life and his second book, Fashion Design Essentials, please welcome Jay Cauldron. Jay, thank you so much for being with us. My thank pleasure. You. It's, it's a pleasure to have you. So, gosh, you're so busy. Tell us how you juggle all of these things. Um, well, they all kind of uh, work with each other. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll work with designers on a photo shoot, and I'll have great images to put in a book. I'll work with students, and I'll have volunteers to work on a show. So it all, it all kind of weaves together. So. so it seems to me you live and breathe fashion. How did you get your start? Uh, very early. Uh, when I was 14 years old, uh, I went to the uh, High School of Fashion Industries in New York and I uh, just fell in love with the industry. So I, st I studied fashion there and then I started to work right afterwards. So Very exciting. So um, about Boston Fashion Week, I'm just, how did, how did you, that idea come about to, to have a Boston Fashion Week? Uh, well, I was shooting and writing about the shows in New York, and um, I was living up here at the time. I had just moved here, and I had met these great local talents, but they, they, they weren't being paid attention to. And I thought, oh, if we had a, a version of Fashion Week here in Boston, it would help sort of create a focus on fashion design and all the other fashion professionals at least once a year. And um, so we've been doing that since 1995. So how has it improved or grown since the very first... Well, so. it actually, um, I mean, it's every year uh, we try to add something fresh and new. Um, to be honest with you, since the beginning, I mean, it, it had a pretty strong presence. I mean, the press really uh, loved it. The public was able to ac access it. Um, this year, I guess the big news is uh, the tent. Uh, a lot For many years, people have been wanting a central location for at least the core of the shows and um, that provides it. But it's really important for me, for everyone to know also that uh, Boston Fashion Week doesn't happen just in the tent. It happens all throughout the city and the region. So we want to encourage people in all different communities to do events and to celebrate what fashion means in their town. That's, I mean, it's so great to have this event and you know, thank you for bringing that to Boston. But what is the future of Boston Fashion Week? Well, um, I think it, it just it, it's a reflection of who's in town and who's doing fashion like whether it be hairstylists or designers or photographers so fashion week every year just becomes a um, a symbol of the, what's happening in town that year you know sometimes it's all about the models sometimes it's all about the the, the photography so I think every year kind of it just evolves and becomes what it's naturally going to be for that year so. Well, we're thrilled to see what happens next. Yeah. Um, let's talk about your book. So okay. the very first book yes. is Form, Fashion, Fit. Or Form, uh, uh, Form Fit, Fit, Fashion, fashion yeah. <laughs> and uh, and um, that book uh, was really exciting for me. It was my first sort of uh, uh, start with publishing. And I was able to put a book together that was short and concise, but it had the big picture of fashion. I get so many students who you know, watch Project Runway and think the fashion industry is that. And, there were so, there's so many other facets, so I was able to to bring it all together in one book. So it's, we call it kind of the primer to the industry. So if you read this, you kind of get an overview of what it's all about and find where you think you fit. So then the second book is almost like a sequel then. Um, well, the second book, I mean, the first book is the primer, and we, I call this one the playbook because okay. it has a hundred different ideas, and it's for once you you're in the industry or 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 really want to find out more about it. There, there's a hundred different concepts that you can use as a filter for your creative ideas. Um, so if you were to give advice, fashion advice, you know, based on your books, based mm -hmm. on your knowledge, to our viewers, what, would, what, what advice would that be? Never stop learning about it. Um, because I've been doing this since I was 14 years old, and I still get excited, I still discover new things. And uh, I think the worst thing you can do is kind of like rely on what you already know, you know, it's like yeah. and feel like, oh, I'm an, I, like, I, 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 don't even, I don't like to even call myself an expert because I'm always learning new things. I, I love being a student of fashion. And I think if you really love the industry, 
then it's easy. It's not like a chore or, you know, like, like we're, you know, the whole school thing, so. So in terms of Boston's future, just, you know, not necessarily Boston Fashion Week, but, I mean, Boston has come such a long way. We have Newbury Street, which is kind of, you know, the, the center for that. Yeah. But what do, I mean, it's changed so much. Yeah. What do you see for Boston in the future? Will it be a mecca of fashion? Well, I think it's going to be a, a regional, uh, it, it can definitely be a regional capital. Um, you know, when you say Mecca, definitely they're the, the really big fashion cities like New York and Paris and London. But, um, but I think there's a trend towards cities embracing fashion and celebrating what, they, what happens locally. Just the way you do with food, you know, like food, you, you go to what's, what's special to that region. You know, we're known for lobsters and all that kind of stuff and legal seafood. Um, but in fashion, um, we, we hadn't done that for a long time. And I think now that's starting to happen in a lot of different cities where we kind of are seeking out what's special and what special perspectives in fashion are available in that town. So um, once again, we just want to thank you for coming out. We're looking forward to seeing you at Boston Fashion Week right. um, with the tent. Yes. Big tent, <laughs> under the tent. Yes. And, uh, Tell us, where do we learn more about you? Your, uh, where do our viewers get more information sure. on the books? Okay. Um, well, uh, for myself, you know, for where I'm speaking or books or that kind of thing, um, people can go to cauldron3.com. Um, but for Boston Fashion Week information, for the official schedule, it's bostonfashionweek.com. bostonfashionweek.com. That's coming yeah, up very Pretty straightforward, shortly, yeah. So. Thank you so much for being here. My We're pleasure. Very, it was a lot excited, of fun. Jay. It's, you know, your amazing at what you do so um you know we'll definitely keep in touch with you great keep us posted definitely will. style it up always wants to know and be on the scene Excellent. thank you so much my pleasure don't go anywhere the doctor is in we'll tell you what it's all about stay with us on style it up. <laughs>